<coughs> My name is Raman. I did not follow instructions at work and had an accident. Now, I am permanently disabled and jobless. Please watch this video carefully. It can help save your life and prevent the kind of accident that has hurt me and my family. You are an important part of Malaysia's large workforce. At work, you have to deal with potentially hazardous chemicals. By understanding proper safety procedures and how to handle these chemicals, you can minimize health risks and avoid accidents. There are four main types of hazards you may face in your workplace. They are biological. These are hazards caused by organisms, for example, bacteria that breed in untreated water in cooling towers. Radiation. For example, X-rays. Exposure to excessive amounts of radiation can cause illness and death. Physical, meaning surrounding hazards that can cause injury. Chemical, substances that can harm our body to cause injury, illness and even death. You may be exposed to these hazards in three ways. They are Ingestion Where chemicals enter the body via the mouth Inhalation Where the chemicals enter your body through the breathing of harmful fumes, vapor and gas Absorption Through the skin when you are in direct contact with the chemicals during handling Overexposure to hazardous chemicals can result in illness, injury and sometimes even death. So, how do we minimize these risks? To reduce the risk of ill health and accidents, it is very important that you know the types of chemicals you are dealing with and how to handle them properly. This would include knowledge and adherence to standards, procedures and codes that address the receiving and issuing of chemicals. How they are stored. How the chemicals are transported and distributed. How they are used and their final disposal. Control measures to minimize and prevent risks are available. These measures are as follows in the order of effectiveness. Elimination, meaning the total removal of hazardous chemicals by the use of other processes not involving hazardous chemicals. Substitution, which means the substitution of a hazardous chemical with a less hazardous substitute, such as the use of water-based detergent instead of hexane. Enclosure To totally enclose the process and handling systems emitting hazardous chemicals. This is to prevent or minimize the release of these chemicals into the work environment. Isolation This is achieved by segregating workers either by distance or physical barrier from the hazardous work, process or chemical hazardous to health. Modification such as the use of lower operating temperatures or pressure to minimize the release of chemicals hazardous to health into the workplace environment. Engineering control equipment. Examples of these would include local exhaust systems and proper ventilation methods. Safe work systems and procedures. These are procedures that can eliminate or minimize risks. Personal protective equipment. This is the last defense to safety. To be effective, there must be proper selection of personal protective equipment, their correct fitting, proper use, care and maintenance, and replacement when required. Other control measures. These would include personal hygiene, maintenance of control equipment, providing information, instruction and training to workers, monitoring of personal exposures and the level of contaminants in the air, health surveillance of workers handling hazardous chemicals, emergency procedures, 
and provision of first aid facilities. Fortunately, major accidents are rare today. However, companies should always be prepared. Many have emergency response teams to tackle a major accident before help from the authorities arrives. These teams comprise of highly trained personnel. Their aim is to minimize injury, death and loss of property arising from such accidents. Your safety is of utmost importance. The Occupational Safety and Health Act 1994 imposes fines and jail sentences for persons who do not comply with its regulations. So working safely with hazardous chemicals is everyone's responsibility. If basic steps are followed and proper procedures are observed, ill health and accidents will not happen. Companies that handle chemicals should have a system to manage chemicals. This includes a policy on chemical safety that identifies and authorizes persons responsible to manage the chemicals. All chemicals used in the workplace should be recorded in a chemical register. There should also be a procedure on the purchasing of chemicals. Chemicals should be properly stored with incompatible chemicals separated. A chemical health risk assessment must be conducted to assess the employee's exposure to chemicals. Employees must also be trained on the precautions to be taken when handling chemicals, including emergency procedures. Employees that need to undergo medical surveillance must also be identified. And remember, if you are in doubt, ask your supervisor or safety officer. You have a responsibility to yourself, your colleagues and most importantly, to your family for personal safety. Make your workplace a safe and rewarding one. Safety begins with you.